Plo Koon. A Kel Dor from Dorian, Plo Koon was among the wisest members of the Jedi Order, respected for his level headed analysis of events and unflappable calm. Hello, and welcome to Centurion's Corner, and today's episode we are reviewing Plo Koon. Now, it's another one in this nice, very nice wave, even though I don't really like the Attack of the Clones. I love all the Jedi's and I love the appearance of them, lightsabers and the blittering things because that actually made way for the Clone Wars and this guy, this guy paved the way for the Clone Wars for he found the Padawan Ahsoka Tano. So to thanks to this guy, we actually got Clone Wars and a character that we all hold in our hearts for a very, very long time. Unfortunately, he met his demise on Revenge of the Sith in his Jedi Starfighter, but we can relive him again now in his Jedi robes and in plastic. So he's looking very nice and elegant. We've got the nice sort of like gown here that we've got covering up his old body. We've got the blue lightsaber here, a very nice picture of him down here. And on the side, he's number 109. On the back, we have his bio and the picture. And on the side, we've got Plo Koon. And again, they've actually managed to fit it in the black. So without further ado, and great expectations, let's open this guy up. So again, here he is in his blister pack, no hidden accessories or anything there, it's just him and his lightsaber, because that's all he needs. So what we're gonna do, just take a first impression before we take him away for the review. Looks great. You just see a little bit of paint up on here, but it's where the camera is like HD, it really picks up the stuff, but I really, really can't see it in the naked eye. And um, yeah, that detail on him looks absolutely superb. So I'm going to go away now and uh, put him through his paces, and we'll be back in. So welcome back, and yeah, really love this guy. He's absolutely superb. He looks fantastic, and everything about him is great. Again, there's a couple of little gripes I have about him. Yeah, his robe looks a bit naff. Yes, he shares the same body to Mace Windu, but who cares, because he looks fantastic. And um, he comes with his two accessories, which is his lightsaber and his robe. And we take a first look at the lightsaber. And the good thing about his lightsaber, actually, he can actually hold in both hands. And this is the first time, really, he's a left-handed kind of Jedi. We've actually got him holding on a more of a tighter grip in this hand. And this one, we've got a looser grip. But still, it still, can still hold it there. So he kind of looks like he's using the force while he's holding the lightsaber. You know, it just, it just looks pretty cool. And like, it looks like he can hold it sort of a bit more sophisticated in a way. With the lightsaber itself, We've got some nice gold on there. We've got the black, we've got the little red dot, and we've got the sort of um, extra little handle grip at the bottom. And it's done, yeah, it's just done good. We've got the removable blade as well, and it just fits in, and it just fits in just nice like Ketfisto's with no breakage or anything in there you're gonna worry about. But as he shares the Mace Windy body, and looking at the lightsaber, there's actually nowhere to attach the lightsaber hilt to his body. So we will always keep it with this nice transparent dark blue blade. So yeah, the robe. The robe does the look. It does definitely do the look. It doesn't look too baggy in places. Um, it kind of just sort of, uh, it just to me, it does take kind of like the full kind of look away from the actual figure itself. Um, it's just a little bit annoying, but it's very sort of monk-like in a way. Um, the, the hood as well. It's quite a long kind of gaping hood, you know, like with a long point, and it's not practical in any kind of shape or form, as um, we just kind of get this with the cape. Um, and even if you wanted to sort of like to wet it down in a kind of way, it just, because it's such an open up area up here, it just, I don't know, I'd, I can't even think of a, a decent way for him to wear it, unless it was kind of really sort of 
squidge to his head. But um, that's not going to happen, unfortunately. So we can actually take this robe off. I thought at first it was going to be a little clip just up here, but it's not. Um, so we do have to lift up his arms and um, kind of just pull it over his sleeves. Just be careful of his hands because we have got a claw on there, which could actually catch the material. So just pop it up. And then it is a little bit elastic -y around the neck. So we can just put it up from behind. So we're not getting it caught on his breathing apparatus. There we go. We can just pull it down. There we go. And get rid of that. So yeah, I mean, here he is. Plo Koon in all his glory, looking absolutely fantastic. And articulation wise, you know, he's got it all really. We've got, we can turn left, we can turn right, we can look down, we can look up. We've got a kind of wobble here. We've got that kind of lower neck movement down here. We've got arms that come up and we've got the rotation. We've got more than a 90 degree elbow bend. We've got the rotation at the wrist and also on the hinge. We've got a nice butterfly joint just inside there. And then also we've got a nice rotation here at the waist so you can go back and down. It's kind of very ball-like, it's very nice. We've got the legs that can come out this wide. We can kick forward this amount, but it is quite hindered. I'm pushing a bit of pressure on that because of this extra bit of vinyl plastic there that's holding it down. It doesn't come back all that far. And we've got a double jointed knee here and we've got the rocker and a pivot. And just up underneath his robes, we have got the rotation at the fire. So in all, Black Series is kind of wins that extra point there for being the sort of Black Series kind of articulation and above, which is pretty cool. And he doesn't suffer with my well, most window, always wants to sort of like um, lean forward a little bit. And he doesn't really suffer with that, so which is definitely a bonus. And then actually looking at the sculpt and the paintwork, I mean, just look at that. It just looks fantastic. I still got that little silver bit up there, but I can easily just remove that with any way. But just looking at the veins and the skin texture and just that sort of like brush, dry brush they've got over the top of it. And just to bring up that sort of orange color, looks fantastic. The, even like the eyes and all that kind of sort of detail on the mask just looks phenomenal. I'm just trying to catch it in the light for you so you can see. And then going down to the robes, you know, it just looks like cloth, but actually it's that kind of sort of very, very soft vinyl. And this bit is all completely like separated. So it's not going to get in the way of too much articulation, but we can actually bring that arm right around for some double dual hand kind of thing for your lightsaber. The belt is a bit bland. Um, obviously there's no kind of switch on there. Uh, like I always thought about the mace window as well, is like these little pocket things look way too small. And, um, but apart from that, you know, the colours kind of blend in with sort of plo -coon. We've got the darker brown trousers and then we've got the nice smart brown boots. And that's kind of it really. I mean, that's the main parts. The other parts is his hands and they look great. I love that giant claw he's got in there. You can see the detailing on there and uh, just the smaller fingers. And then on this side, we've got it more clenched. With that higher, bigger claw just inside, looking fan dabby dozy, and um, that's kind of it, really. I mean, here he is, and we could just bring in uh, his doppelganger, I suppose, in a way, and uh, so you can see them side by side. And it's quite nice, really, like just to start getting these Jedi's, you know, like this is what Star Wars is about, and we're finally actually getting some to just stand together uh, as a union of knighthood. So uh, it's fantastic. Now I picked this guy up from Star Action Figures from the new wave. Uh, it's the last wave that we will see in these uh, red boxes. So um, farewell until we get these new ones. So that's been my review for Plo Koon. I hope you enjoyed it. You can comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram. You can like and you can subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.